What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we turn this vintage camp stove from this into this. This is how we did it. As you can see, this thing is nasty. So my goal here is to remove the grate that your pans would sit on and then also remove all of the internals from the complete stove. That way I can clean out the bottom of it, the lids, everything. Now I haven't even attempted to start this thing up. I wanna get it as clean as possible before I even attempt to do that. So without further ado, let's get into it. First order of business, I'm gonna remove this grate that sits on top of these two burners here and get that soaking in some water with a ton of soap. After that, I'm gonna to attempt to remove the lid along with the two side panels, the wind panels, and then remove the actual burners from the stove. Definitely just broke it. There's what I broke off. Finally, there's that. All right, now while we let that grate soak, I'm gonna take off this lid here and then remove this whole burner system. Look at this, this is all like dirt and grime. And you got rust all down in here. Well, I scrubbed this thing for like 20 minutes and you can already see how much better this thing looks. But I'm not quite done. I've got a little secret called Barkeeper's Friend that I'm gonna see if that won't take off all of this leftover black marks. Well, I think I'm gonna call this guy good for now. Now I'm gonna remove these two burners here that are sitting on this plate. I will go ahead and soak this in some water just like I did for the grate. Hopefully get all of this dirt and grime off. And after I get all the easy dirt and grime, I'm gonna take it and use a drill and kind of polish it up. Already you can tell there's a huge difference. Look at that. Now that our burner plate is all washed and cleaned up, we are gonna clean this nasty thing. Oh, look at that. The steel scrubber's taking off all this paint. Yeah, that might be good for it. Definitely could use a new paint job. For the last part that we can actually wash with soap, we've got the actual base that everything sits in. Check it out, look how clean that is now. All right, while we're letting these pieces dry, I'm gonna take this drill, the gas can, and the burners in the plate outside, and I'm gonna try to get as much rust and corrosion off of these things as possible. Before I get too far, this is what she looks like after it was washed. Now that is what it should look like when I'm completely done with it. Well, how does that look? It took me like 12 minutes to do this. My hand is just on fire. It's definitely not perfect, but it'll be a lot, look a lot better once there's a uh, paint on it. Now this reservoir is gonna be really tricky. I can't even get this cap off. Definitely wanna get all this rust here. Probably just brush the rest of this down to get all the dirt and debris off and then just paint it. Lastly, we've got these two burners. I'm gonna take these two top pieces off here and clean those real good, and then the tube, and we'll see from there. It's not the best, but it looks better, that's for sure. Now, if you're wondering how the gas works, so this is the auxiliary burner. So by spinning this, it spins this washer 
into the tube and it locks there and it doesn't let any more gas get to the actual burner. So if you want a bigger flame, turn it the other way. You can open it all the way up and you'll get the biggest flame that it offers. Well, it turns out there's like a chrome paint on this, so I'm gonna quit buzzing all that off. All right, now that I've got everything cleaned up and dried out to my liking, there's a few things I need to do before I go to the store and grab paint and the fuel. And one of them is get this freaking gas cap off because it is like corroded on there. And the next thing is to make sure this pump here is intact so it can still be used. Yeah, that sucker is on there. It's all rusted on there. Can you even see that? All right, so I'm gonna be really careful because I don't know what this is gonna do if it gets into the actual tank and it starts to burn. Just be real nice and gentle. I'm just gonna try to screw this on there and hopefully, oh yeah, that was much better. Ain't nothing a little WD-40 can't fix. Okay, now this thing is what is used to pressurize the tank so that you get the gas flowing through this nozzle tube here. If I think it looks bad, I'm gonna buy a new one. Oh, it's rubber. No, that actually doesn't look too bad, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Holy. All right, now we're ready to go to the store, grab our paint, grab our gas, and just pray to God that this thing works when we get back. Let's go. Y'all ever got deer running around your front lawn just taking dumps? And we're back at everybody's favorite store, Walmart. Before we actually start painting, I'm gonna tape off some of the different parts, like especially here on the lid. Like I don't want these little clips to get paint on it. I don't want these little hinge things to get paint on it. And then the tank, I don't want any of this shaft here to get any paint on it, along with this guy and this clip. All right, I got everything taped off. Let's go paint. Yeah. Oh, this paint job is gonna make this look so much better. Now this is the side that I scrubbed all this paint off from when I was washing it. Sucker looks so much better. All right, lastly, we got this sucker. Not lastly, there's one more piece inside I forgot. We're gonna do this first. Check it out before it's painted. What's the issue? Spray bottle quit working. Look at that. Well, my green can is completely busted. I'm gonna spray paint this guy red. I think it'll be a cool combination of colors if you got the tank that's red and this. All right, we'll let that guy dry and let's go get some more green paint. For the amount of effort I put into this thing, I sure hope it works. If I get to the very end and I fill up this tank with fuel and it's not working, oh man, I am not gonna be happy. Yeah, that's all right though. It's all about the experience. Well, as I'm halfway through the process of painting these, these things green, I just realized I never actually got all that rust off of them. All I did was the internal parts. Hopefully that doesn't cause too many issues. Back with another can, same color. Let's hope this one works to complete the rest of this project. Ah, it's starting to drip, dang it. So this guy's looking pretty dry. I'm gonna try to transfer it over to this board here. And now I'm gonna go over this. Well, it's okay, but it could use just like one more coat. Gotta say, it's looking pretty good. So now we get to do the satisfying task of removing all of the tape. Now we'll go ahead and throw this guy back together. Uh oh, that was a mistake. Definitely screwed that up. Shouldn't have put that on there. You know what we call that? That's called character.
That looks so clean. You're ready to rock, man. Gotta be honest, this isn't doing anything. That is not a good sign. I ended up running over to Academy Sports and bought myself a pump repair kit and it is supposed to be identical to this one. This rubber here is way too brittle and it kind of shrunk on the inside of the tank. Hopefully this guy will do the trick and we'll be good to go. Before I stick this new plug into the tank, you wanna make sure you oil it up first. I'm using engine oil, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure you get some oil on the rubber part and the little white part. This seal is much bigger than the old one that was in there previously, so I think this is gonna do the trick. Oh yeah, perfect. Now let's see if it builds any pressure. We already got some gas in there. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, so we got this pump all the way cranked to the right. So make sure the gas is off before we start and then make sure this little guy is pointing up. All right, let's give it a shot. This thing hasn't been run in I don't even know how many years. There we go. Come on, baby, how sick is that? You see this? This side's smoking right here. Make sure it's closed. No, that was open. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? How cool is that? Oh, this makes me so happy. Eventually when this pipe that's running, running across the burner gets warmed up, the flame will be completely blue. There will be zero yellow flame. Here, we'll do a time lapse. And there you go. There's your completely blue flame. Now for good measure, we're gonna go ahead and light the other side. There you go, check it out. Open her all the way up. Both burners are working. Well, that's it, y'all. That's restoring a vintage Holman camp stove from completely nasty to looking basically brand new. I'm very proud of this, like very, very proud of this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you do a restoration of one of these yourself, leave me a comment down below of what issues you had or what you really liked about it. Just making a community of it. So I appreciate y'all watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Shoo.